The wind blows on a cloudy, cloud day with an airplane passing by. Outdoors can be a lifesaver to many. Sometimes we need to take things outside we normally do inside. This day, my soul longed to do so. Remember the video I didn't want to make a few videos back? Well, I set out to make it and happened on this day. As most things go, it didn't turn out as planned. My first thought was to write several different scriptures from different books of the Bible, where this turned into one section chapter of scriptures on one sheet of dictionary paper, and then my thoughts on a hot pink cardstock as the Holy Spirit conversed with me over those scriptures. A dog wanders to know what their owner is doing. Even when you run out of marker ink and you thought to be in frame shots turns out of frame. Flowers bloom, not to the count as normal due to a cold freeze snap we had earlier this spring. I'm the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, Ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. This is my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourself to be my disciples. John 15, 1 through 8. Showing myself I'm a disciple excites me. I want his word to remain in me. I want to be able to do much work in the world serving others so I don't want to be apart from him. I want to be kept and alive. I want to be fruitful. The Father's glory is honorable. This was my time spent with the Lord as an artist. I plan to use this Bible verse written on this dictionary page to use in one of my mixed media art journals. And then I will take the pink cardstock and cut out each little section of the wordings to use in different places of my journal. I've been longing to put words words of wisdom, words of the Lord in my work, in my journal. The video that I spoke of that I did several back and I said it was the video I didn't want to make, it was because on that video I had set out to write down several different scriptures just like I'm doing here. And so this is the day that I'm doing it. I enjoyed my time outside. It was so refreshing to spend time with the Lord out there in honor of my artwork that I, can, I know can be used in the days ahead. From the water in the pool bubbling to the birds chirping and the Bible pages flapping in the wind and the airplane flying over my head and the sun barely peeking out with the words of the Lord jumping off the pages. The outdoors is what I needed on this very day. My youngest daughter recently did a speech. As a matter of fact, she did it last night for her last final for her speech class. And it was on ADHD. And it was talking about ways to cope with ADHD and not be put on prescription medicines. And one of the things was getting outdoors and being surrounded by green. Now, I'm not saying I'm ADHD, and I'm not saying that I'm not. I've never been tested, but I'm just saying 
I think there are benefits for all of us, no matter what our testing or lack of testing is. Being around the outdoors and breathing in the fresh air and being surrounded by the green and the other things that I already mentioned, like the wind and the sound and watching the flowers and just being in nature is so refreshing. And then to pair up God's word and to pair up your passion and your creativity all in one, man, it was just the perfect recipe. How often do you take something outside that you normally do inside? Do you let windows up in your house with screens or no screens? Do you leave your doors open for fresh air? Or do you just gather all your things up and go straight for the outdoors to sit and soak up the vitamin D? I can't imagine my life without these things. And it is such an honor to be blessed to be able to do these. It is refreshing to me and helps me to be able to serve others in my family and even outside my family. My hope is that you felt refreshed watching this video and seeing this. I hope that you are encouraged. I hope that you are reminded that what you do and how you spend your time is, you know, how you rekindle your spirit and nurture it so that you can be there for yourself and others. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see you back next Monday. Did you notice on the dictionary page the key print? Remember the key prints on the video prior to this? And I just want to say something about that key print video. It uh, proved itself to be one of the top performing videos of the 28 days of how YouTube breaks it down. So it is pushing top in my list. And that just lets me know that to keep going because my heart on some days has been a little weary and not being able to keep up with the weekly videos. But it was just what I needed and encourages me to keep on, not only for myself, but for you that watches these videos. If you've made it this far in the video and you would like to leave a comment, please comment key or tell me anything else that is on your mind or that came to your mind watching this video. Remember always you were made to shine.